place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. And we come to the level that I have been talking about for four episodes now, and the ghosts that I mentioned last episode terrified the piss out of me. But yeah, this was it. Um, five, six, seven, and eight-year-old me was absolutely terrified at the fact that this level existed. I could not stand the ghost. The spooky atmosphere of the level was too much to get me on edge. But granted, when I was a kid, I, I got this is a dated reference, but I was pretty much Chucky from the Rugrats. Okay. That was another thing that always bothered me was there was Cam in the middle. One of the biggest problems with this level is it's literally so huge. Getting a signal for three ammo data is damn near impossible. I think I found it though. Oh well. It's close. I'm a dumbass. Two more left. Now I found it. Hope every Probably will, but I mean, you know, I can hold. And you know, I'm not one for rap and hip hop. I think it's just not my genre of music at all. But the Pumpkin Hill theme in particular, I actually don't mind. It's not bad. I get it stuck in my head every now and then. You know, I don't know why I continue to find these things when I know it's not up there. Oh hey, I wonder if it's in the church. It's the only place I haven't looked yet, right? Nope. I've been playing too many slow games. I always feel like there's going to be some serious secret tunnel of church towers. It's closer. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, so I've never actually seen it there before. Okay. So that happened. It was odd. Someone should make that into a remix. Ain't no rest for the chaotic. Ain't no rest for the chaotic. I cage the other one. <sighs> Giant level, no emerald signal. It's making me sad. It's not here. Probably not there. It just might be over here. So it's probably over here. That's neat. It's closer. Bitch! Oh. I found him. I was lucky. <laughs> Thank you.
It's like reenacting that scene from Drag to Hell only with furries. Yeah, I survives. feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would. Da -na 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 -na. I feel good. Oh god. I don't know why I always say that. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist. That face is so soon weird. to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> Yes, Amy, that means you too. You and your odd ass fucking eyes. Seriously, she's the only character that has flesh colored eyelids. It's weird. So, welcome to Mission Street, the second Tails level? Yeah, second Tails level. And this is where we get the hover boots that Tails jump jet okay. thing gets. It's the Tornado 3, but it's never specifically called that. It's only written on the side of the uh, ship, as you can see if you look. Right there, on the right. But, uh... I digress. Hey, look! We're wanted! You think if we turn ourselves in, we'll get the prize money? I mean, reward money? Yeah. Reward money. Anyway, now we can hover just like we did with Eggman. Only not as cool because the flames aren't cool. You know, I like Tails' mech better, not because it's blue, but because it's more symmetrical and symmetry appeals to me more. Whereas Eggman's looks. Eggman's is very asymmetrical with the cannon placement, which is cool. I learned to appreciate that when I was young or older, but when I was younger, I was almost autistic with the way I wanted things. Everything needed to be symmetrical. Everything needed to be uh, red, yellow, and blue. Everything needed to be uh, even numbered. It was it was fucking nuts. It was later in life where I learned to you know calm down and deal, but. When I was younger, oh god, it was nuts. So I still have an appreciation for Tails' neck, uh, outside of the fact that it's just blue. It also looks cool, too. I mean, it transforms into a flame. Well, I guess 
the clown car comes out of it for it. The Eggmobile, or whatever you want to call it. The clown car. The totally not a Mario clone ripoff. Although, I think, I think, Bowser showed up in the clown car after I came. So, and I don't know. Uh, I could very well be wrong about that. I just know that I've always associated Bowser as the one who flies in the car. Even though I played Sonic 3 first. Actually, Sonic 3 and Knuckles was for the PC. Uh, the Mega Collection or whatever that had all three of them. Or it had Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, and then Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Well, all three. Uh, separately. For the PC. Ah, that was my first video game that I ever remember playing. Now, my uh, cousins used to tell me stories about how when I was younger, they used to sit me in front of the computer, or not in front of the computer, in front of, well, in front of the computer, in front of whatever they happen to be playing on, uh, usually the N64, uh, or the PlayStation 1, um, with a controller that wasn't plugged in, and used to pretend that they were playing with me, which I thought was funny. As I got older, around three, I got sick of this shit, and, uh, as my cousin Mikey told me, I threw the PlayStation controller at him. And hit him. Oh god! Tails, you would literally be the only fox I know who could survive a highway being dropped on. Okay. Unless it's Jamie Fox. Or Megan Fox, because I mean Transformers, but. I did it! <laughs> Very good! And now, we come to the worst Knuckles level in the entire game. <laughs> I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is going to be tougher than I thought. It is small, it is closed in, and it is completely against his glide playstyle. And it's slow. And I don't hate water levels, but... For some reason... Aquatic Mind pisses me off in all the wrong ways. It also has ghosts, so... Childhood me still something on the inside. This emerald that I didn't see Can you guess this mystery? You get bonus points if you know what's wrong. Hell, you get bonus points if you're watching. Because you're just that awesome. Oh, please. Our holy chaos who arcs in heaven. Grant me strength. Three fans. What about seven fans? What about two fans in a queue? Rings are like cops. They're never around when you need them, and they're always around when you don't. Unfortunately, in Sonic games, you never don't need them! Oh, oh my child, just hit the ground already, please! Down here? No. 
There's probably one down there, though. Oh. Wow! It's closer. I feel stupid. Two more left. Alright. Clue's probably down down here. Hey look, ghosts! Die! I just saw it. I just saw it. It's down here somewhere. I just saw it. I know I'm not crazy. Please, don't tell me I'm crazy. I swear I just saw it. I must be nuts. I thought I saw it floating in the air. Wow. I swear I thought I saw it floating in the air. You know, I'm probably gonna look back on this footage and stare at it. Where I thought I saw it and completely think I'm gone crazy. Oh yeah. Before we finish this level, there is something that we need to do that's going to make the final level in this game incredibly easy. Now, I didn't have it when I first beat the game, which, uh, by the way, Batman's been here, but uh, I didn't have it when I first beat the game, and I regretted it instantly. But it is not a necessary to complete the game. But I deem it pretty friggin' necessary to complete the game. The first time I did it the hard way. But if you manage to survive all the way through here and get up, you now completely get rid of the worst Sonic weakness. Uh, the worst sonic mechanic ever. You now no longer drown as Knuckles. Now we can breathe underwater and stay under here as long as we want. Honestly, it makes this level pretty bearable too, but I actually forgot that it was here. So, I'm smart. But yeah, now we can breathe underwater. Actually, we should make it in that uh, other emerald piece a lot easier too. Because we just need to raise the hill. In order to do that, we go up here, drop down. Six minutes on this mission already. Yeah, the Duckles missions tend to waste a lot of time. What is not happening? Huh. Must be Or. It 
it is. I don't actually think I've ever I been in there before. Him. Huh. Interesting. I have to try harder. No, you don't. That was a shitty mission anyway. But doing so gives us one of the more unique gameplay mechanics. Sheesh. There always seems to be a lot game. of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the master emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckle. I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the president in the government computer. I'm following the president's limo right now. If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there. Hi! Wait for me, Tails! Tails turns into Speed Racer. Now, I can't justify how the mines in the middle of the mountains wind up into the sewers of a city, but, uh... Plot convenience. So, uh... Yeah. Let's go back. Yeah, that was something. Yeah, plot communities. I like plot communities. So, uh, kart racing, yeah, it's... It's not bad. Controls are a little weird, but, uh... Once you get the hang of it, it's actually kind of fun. Um, I have not gotten the full hang of it, but, uh... I've figured out bits and pieces, so... You know. I can make it work. I can do the stuff. Uh, figuring out how to drift is probably the most important part of kart racing. Um, which is something that honestly bothers me about a lot of racing games from back in the day is they specifically included corners that you needed to drift on. Which, yes, it's fine for racing games like, I don't know, uh, dirt, or, like, a motocross game, but, if I'm playing something like Midtown Madness, or, I don't know, Burnout Paradise, drifting doesn't necessarily need to be a big part of the gameplay. It can be included, yes, and it can make advanced driving, you, you know, it... I don't think that it needs to be a skill that you necessarily need to master to win the game. And in this particular case, it's very much a skill that you should master if you plan on succeeding in this particular game at all. Because uh, this particular level stumped me until I actually got lucky once. Because I didn't figure out how to drift um, until I got the game for the PC. I was just kind of press brake and accelerate randomly. Uh, and I would occasionally get the drift out of that when I was younger. Um, but now I actually kind of know what I'm doing. And in order to drift, you just have to press them both at the same time. Makes things nice. But uh, we have finished the level, or getting to the end. See the president's limo. And now we get to one of the coolest cutscenes in the game. Probably fourth on my list of the most Sonic cutscenes in Sonic video games. 
And by that, I mean in terms of how Sonic should be, personality-wise. Oh, and uh, we'll check out kart racing later. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? <laughs> Sonic Man Empire. Yeah, right. What the heck's going on here? No, Don't worry, no. Mr. President. What did you Everything's do? under control. Just leave it to us. Got it, Tails? Transmitting from the space colony R. Okay, let's move it. Wait up, Sonic. Hey, you, wait! Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. Well, you saw them too, right? Well, yeah. We should be able to get into outer space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that camp and then kick their Imperial butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. Knuckles, I respect the fact that you have your priorities in some kind of order because want to protect the master and wolf but um given that angel island is currently situated on earth uh if earth ceases to exist i think angel island in the master emerald might be in a little bit of trouble so i think the most important thing is that eggman went in there uh rouge is important yes but a little bit of priority reshuffling might be required. Uh, just a tiny amount, of, a tiny amount though. I'm sure nothing will battle or some of that. Just you know, take a take a step back, reconsider your uh, options, get back. To it. You bastard! Eggman is very narcissistic. It is... Ah, you bastard! You bastard kids, get off my lawn! Eggman is very narcissistic. That's what I get for talking bad about... Pure. And no. Fuck you, and fuck your cannon shots. What I mean about these being some uh, bullshit levels? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, and this could be avoided by just being a little bit more careful. But okay. why would I need to be careful? I'm not a Jedi. I'm not. Okay. I'm on a clock here. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, no, that jump right now. Hey, Eggman, I'm wrecking your shit. Why don't you come out here and stop me? No! 
god, I'm just going to lose all my lives on this one level. I do not like the quicksand in the mech levels. It's, it's absolutely bullshit. Screw you, monkeys! Or, screw you, coconuts! Now we get to the bad maze that's not really a maze, because pretty much you go one way or the other. You're supposed to get lost in mazes, it's not supposed to be an A or B choice, it's supposed to be an A through Z. Ugh. You're missing at least 24 choices. I will run through your children, camera! Yeah, the camera's not perfect in this game. Oh hey look, you didn't get it this time. Okay. Now we have to shoot three friggin' walls? Why didn't you just see the block? That was more efficient. And with that, we come to the end of this level. I did it! In only four minutes and most of my friggin' lives. I gotta do better next time. Welcome to Pyramid Cave, one of the more annoying Sonic levels, but it's not bad. It's just a little too gimmicky for my taste. See, the whole gimmick with this level is you have to flip those, uh... Thanks, Elmo Chow, for once you weren't useless. Yeah, that's the whole gimmick with this level, is you have to flip those hourglasses in order to advance. And sometimes I just feel like they're the most bullshit things. Like, it's not so bad now, but definitely later it, it gets pretty BS. Oh, speaking of, uh, upgrades and bullshit, we get the bounce bracelet. Honestly, not one of my favorite, or uh, not one of my, uh, favorite. What is it? Oh, that was a last suggestion. Not one of my favorites. If only because I just don't like it. I don't find it very useless. I find oftentimes if I'm trying to... Let me put it this way. It's more of a problem with the fact that most every action is bound to the same button. So, oftentimes when I'm trying to either get a mid-air light speed dash or ship, say I mess up and press the B button instead of the uh, A button when I'm in my mid-jump, you'll instantly go crashing into the ground. 
Instantly. No warning. No. It literally ruins any momentum you may have had. For the sake of that. Oh, and God forbid you happen to be over a friggin' bottomless platform, it's game over. Over. Sorry, my game over. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Fuck you! No. No. Yes. See what I mean by everything being bound to the same place? Kind of a problem. No! Oh, yeah. This is one of the uh, points I was talking about. This particular area really, really sucks. Because if you don't make it, you go all the way back and have to try again. I spent many a time screwing up on that area. I spent a lot of time screwing up on that one. It's okay though, I'm not a perfect Let's Player. I die a lot, and I'm not afraid of showing it either. Well, unless it's excessive, then I just feel like you guys get bored. Hey look, a life! Thank you, Mother Sega has granted me. Excess, uh, I don't know. Someone give me a fancy word for life. Uh, excess essence. Expendable essence, yeah. There we go. What's the angry, Virgo yes! angry video game nerd like to call it? Life insurance? Yeah, that one. Huh, no problem. You want to know what is a problem? Twitching balls. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. And Death Chamber will be the level to wrap us up. Um, where do I begin? So, I thought originally when I got over my fear of Pumpkin Hill that I had seen everything. I experienced everything. And I was wrong. You see... Let me put you in the frame of mind when I had finally gotten to this part in the game. I was a kid who would play up to certain points in games that he enjoyed and then just keep restarting and keep playing up to those points. Beating the game was never a big, big, you know... What's the word? It was never a big priority. You know, did I want to beat the game? Yeah, but... I never viewed myself as good enough, and I always thought that, you know, I, I would be content with just being able to find something in a game that I enjoyed and would enjoy playing over and over again. Hello, Big! I did not know you were there. Wow. So, around the time that I had finally gotten over my fear of the Pumpkin Hill Ghost, I, if any of you are familiar with the Rayman series, Rayman 3 had just come out. And the main enemies of the Rayman 3 the 
have their mouths sewn shut. And that creeped me out. Mostly because I thought that was very painful. And I, just, I have a tendency to empathize with uh, pain. Like, if, more so than regular people. If you were to describe an act of being in pain to me, it would probably affect me a little bit more than it might affect your average Joe, just because I am... My mind tends to wander with pain, and I can uh, be creative with how I imagine things, whether I want them or not. So, that kind of bothered me, much like uh, neck and eye injuries in horror movies bother me today. Um, and then I played this level. And I'd like you to meet Mr. So Big Politician, he can't speak anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you're a politician and the real world and you die. Your mouth is sewn shut from all the bullshit you spew. This ghost scared the living hell out of me. Because if you punch him, he turns into a big version of the regular ones with the scary faces. And then he turns into a smaller one. It's just a pain in the ass to kill. But after spending two minutes on that little story, maybe we should get back to the game. We found one key so far, now we just have to find the other two. Uh, and this little, uh, mission, if I mentioned before, will be the last one to, uh, wrap us up this episode. Um, and the two mechanics that are introduced in this, uh, mission are, well, one, you have the hammer gloves, which you see which let me punch the iron boxes and give you those cool red trails that come when you punch things. And you also get... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, shit. The ability to dig through portraits to teleport you to other areas. Oh, wait. That's right. Which means... Yep. As you just see me do, and as I just did again. Digging through the center of those portraits where the, uh... The Egyptian necklace, the uh, cartouche that holds the name, uh, is will teleport you to a different area. Uh, also, that uh, eagle is a uh, pretty familiar sight for me where I live. Uh, it's uh, part of the theming of a roller coaster at the local theme park. Granted, Egyptian theming is kind of a big part of that particular. All right. Yeah. I see that a lot. Hey, look! Second key. Only another two minutes in. Uh. So. Aside from the fact that this has spooky, spooky ghost face, I am not a huge fan of the song in this particular level. At least, not as much as others might be. room is going to be a pain in my ass. I wonder. As long as I'm getting smashed, I'm never going to get out of Hey look, I was right. It's close. Oh, thank god, I thought I was going to die. I have no rings. I should probably find some rings. It sounds like it'd be important. Granted, just punching the wall, or spamming the, uh, B button. Probably 
I saved in a long time too. Or a lot of heartbreak. Why did I pop that? Above Omo Shao. Are there rings up here? There's a ring up here. Yay! I wasn't even attempting to hit the button. Askin, above Omo Shao. wasn't very nice. Not too bad. We'll uh, catch you in the next episode. Huh? Oh, wait. Who's there? I forgot. Totally not what the... a ripoff of a King Boo. Ghost? At least name was. We have a boss! With a rainbow tongue. Why do ghosts have rainbow tongues? Nope. So this is King Boom Boo, and he is a giant floating thing that I don't. I, I don't recognize, I don't understand what exactly he's supposed to be. I guess it's just a weird ghost crocodile thing. Whatever. Uh, or maybe he's supposed to be a whale. Oh, so, in order to defeat him, to wait till he starts shooting fire from his mouth so you can just so he's distracted so you can activate his little timer thing which forces him to go underground because ghosts don't like the sun and you dig him out and then you beat him up because apparently the sun makes him physical i guess that's how ghosts work in this room He's really not that hard. Honestly. Oh, hey. There's Sonic. Really, this is the most annoying part, is if you go or uh, circle behind him before he starts shooting fire, or he doesn't trigger the fire, he literally just turns around. And I don't know exactly how to make him trigger his... He just doesn't look at work. Four times he throws fire out of his hands? I don't know. But one more punch and we'll put this ghost down for good. At least until someone comes along and fix him again. Because apparently ghosts can't fucking die! Hey! 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 Back your ass up! That's right. You 
know how we make him a better boss or an unbeatable boss. Just remove his ability to, uh... Shoot fire. Out of his mouth. But... What a I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you for the next one, where we tackle Team Dark once again.